welcome back to Be Terrific Live, continuing coverage of New York Comic Con for you. For you, the Terrifics, you guys are amazing. You make Be Terrific special. We're showing the world positive content not only should exist, has a place, and we want it together. Go tap on your neighbor at the next cubicle. Tap on your neighbor's next door. Tell your family, watch BeTerrific.com. you got to see this great Comic Con coverage. This one is going to be amazing. This interview, I'm so excited about it. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. We've got an interview, some comedy, some more talking, and we're going to talk about some really amazing stuff. Of course, my co-host, Andrea Fasano, is sitting next to me. You can reach out to us at BeTerrificTV on all social media. Connect at BeTerrific.com for email and join our Slack chat to keep the conversation going 24 hours a day. And that is BeTerrific.com slash Slack. Send us your name and email. We'll send you an invite. You can join us and the Terrifics and you. 24 hours a day in real-time conversation. We'll ask your questions and read your comments on air. Andrea, I am so excited about this. I'll tell you why. I, I listen to are. this guy on the radio for a long time on my favorite radio show ever. I, a guy I looked up to. In fact, when they said in high school, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said I wanted to do this. This is I, I know I want to talk for a living. And it wasn't about the naked girls. Because right. I, I still haven't achieved that. Oh, it's always about the naked. It was no. <laughs> it's it was still a, about the naked. Girl. It was about the fact that I, somebody was going to pay me to talk and interview people, and that's what I. This is like they don't pay much. This is my talent. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So Steve Gorillo is here. Steve was. You guys know Steve from a lot of things, but really, most notably, the Howard Stern Show. And of course, we've got uh, Stacy Pressman, who's an amazing talent in her own right, and she's just, I'm so happy to have you here. So we're going to interview you guys, and then you're going to do a little comedy. A little bit of a comedy. A little bit of comedy, you do a little bit of your act, and then we'll talk a little bit more. Um, Steve, i got to start with you. Sure enough. What the hell is it like working on the Howard Stern Show? And right. I never curse on air. Everybody else can. I tell okay. people to be themselves. Okay. I never do. To me, that's a curse. Yeah. But I, 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 have, I, have I just got to know. I have a filthy fucking mouth, so. <laughs> Good. You can say that again. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hey now. <laughs> so, uh, that's that's, that's uh, for yeah, the Stern fans. In more ways than one. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Wait a second. Are you got? Have you got? Do you know? N no, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. no. I'm just asking. We we, we did a we did a off Broadway play together at Grandma Sylvia's funeral about 20 years oh ago. Oh my gosh. So no we, we were, way. We, yeah. So wow. uh, we've been friends ever since. So. That's fine. Stacy, yeah. you you hung around the Stern show a lot too, didn't you? Yeah. Um. Back when the days, and when Steve and I we used to go to parties and stuff. Sure. And, Steve would take me, you know, we would do the show together. So after the show, we'd go to parties, and I met everybody. And then I actually did the, a few episodes of the Stern Show yeah. myself. Yeah, v very cool. Um, I, I remember that. I said that to you when we were off right, set. Yeah. Okay, so Steve, what's it like working on the Stern Show? Uh, I always woke up and never had the same day twice. Yeah. Like, it was never, you never knew exactly what was going to happen every single day. So it was like it was an amazing experience, and it, 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 be it good, mostly bad. <laughs> really, you know, mostly yeah. bad. Well, bad for me. Why? Funny for you. No. <laughs> bad for me. Like I, I was. It, it was anxiety. I had serious anxiety attacks. Really. Really. Well, yeah, because just, I just wanted to go and do a good job. I was happy to be there. Like my first experience, I went to Hunter College, and. I was a fan of the show, and then one day I heard he was listening. I, I like I always thought the show was in Jersey somewhere. Right. And all of a sudden, I, I you know I was I, I was wrestling for Hunter College, and I'm like one day it's like he's like 600 Madison Avenue. I went, that's that's like down the block, <laughs> and I I went down because I was listening on my headphones in class, and I went down the block, and all of a sudden I'm standing in the K Rock lobby, and I'm like, oh, holy shit! And there was this, <laughs> gr there was the door, and there was this ugly green plant. Behind the door, it was like this ugly plastic green plant, and all I could think of is, I have to get past that plant. <laughs> That's all I can think of. It's is a good I, plant. I have to the get plant past that plant. Yeah. yeah. And then, like a week later, I heard that he was like, "We need inter we need interns." So, no so then way. I went. That's it. That's my that's my end. So I just sort of like it went from there. What what radio? What like little Walkman? I had an Iowa. I had this little <laughs> Iowa I could fit I in my pocket. I had this Sony one that, yeah. that my mom bought me for Christmas. Wow. It was really cool because it was about the size of a cassette tape, and you sure. could, it had a rechargeable battery or a regular battery. It was really cool. Foldable headphones. I, I, bet, like, yeah. I bet your mother was real happy that that got you to the Stern oh, Show. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. like, oh, exactly. that was the best yeah. Christmas present I ever got. Yeah. So, but why was it miserable? I mean, I can understand no, the anxiety. Was, it, I, I love doing it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I, I was, it was an amazing experience, but you could really look like a jerk or an asshole right. or be embarrassed. Quickly, too. Like, like that. Yeah. But you, but I mean, it, it seems like it's all in good jest. Like, yeah, I break well, my well, cruise chops. Yeah, if, if, I brought, if I brought that on air, it would be the same kind of thing, that, but it's just fun. Perfect example is, I, I told my dad, my dad was a mailman, yeah. and my dad 
typical old school Guinea. Like, you know, he was just like, you know, he didn't understand that. He never really listened to the show. I said, Dad. That's what you think. Don't, don't <laughs> tell anybody at work where I'm working. Just don't. <laughs> and he didn't understand why. So what did he, he do? All of a sudden, now Tell my dad's everybody. got the Walkman. My dad's listening to the show. Now my dad tells every, all the guys, oh, yeah, my son, he's on the Howard Stern show. And then, the, you, you know, I'd get humiliated on the air. And then my dad would come home, and he'd be fucking furious. Why did he have to do that? No. Why could I said, Dad, you don't know Because I knew the guys yeah. at, at work were breaking my dad's balls. Oh, girl, your son really got it today. You know, like, I'm like, Dad. I told you not to tell anybody. And he goes, well, why did Howard have to say that? I went, because people are driving in their cars, and it's not funny. And, if and he says, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right, and by the way, it's a four-hour show. Yeah. He's got to fill four hours. Yeah, he, they, they never under, he, my and dad never understood it. That's the thing. Like People would think Howard's negative, and why should I be talking about him? No, he's positive. It's yeah. all fun. But it's my, a big goof. What my dad didn't also know is like once he, my, Howard hit the button and we were off air, he'd go, Great job, man. Really? You know? so is, oh, totally. That's what I was going to ask. Is he a yeah. great guy? He was fun. I, yeah. Is he a great guy? You know, there's a lot of things he could have done that he didn't. <laughs> right. right. Okay. There was plenty of money to go around, and no one ever got any. Mm. I, I know I didn't work. I didn't get paid for five years. Yeah, but in was any, that you were really interning? I worked, yeah. No, I worked, Technically, I was an intern. Wow. But literally, I was. A, uh, you would classify it as an associate producer, and I was literally doing all this really hardcore work, and I wasn't getting a dollar. Did for anybody it. ever tell you were going to get paid though? What, tell me no. I just I, I, they just kept me there. I was right. happy to be there. <laughs> no, but I was just sort of like, but no, I mean, like, you did I get just, experience. I'm not saying I'm oh, not. No, I'm, I'm not, not saying you shouldn't have gotten I'm paid. I'm not bitching. I'm not. I'm just no, saying. No. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm not saying you shouldn't have gotten paid. I'm just saying, like, you know, if nobody, you know, what was the expectation? Well, That's the, my the funny question. thing is, yeah. there was a point at five years, yeah. you know, because as an intern. You, 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 your See, that's excuses. my problem, Andrea. I pay everybody. Yeah. <laughs> the excuse, you know, the excuse that they give is that uh, how you can get a job without being paid is you get college credit. You right. earn college right. credit yeah. through the, the work, through your learning experience. You went through 10 years I, of college I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I was, you know, I, what kind of degree was I getting from yeah. there five at years? At some I, point. I'm not becoming a doctor. That's you right. Know? When you become Howard Stern, nobody has to get paid. So. Steve got paid on the back end, though. Well, I went back end. I got, I got other well, you gigs got, from it. But you got still. paid the most in our show. I, well, yeah, but when still, it doesn't show. make a difference. It was like he got paid... Through when, the when, when, it was not I, through Howard, but it was right, through Right, sure. When we, when we did the Grandma Sylvia's funeral, the one thing Howard did goes, he goes, the only way I'm, and this was on air, he, the only way I'm letting you do this is, and I never acted a day in my life. The oh, first time I ever acted God. was on an off-Broadway stage. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, it never ends. It just follows no, I know, you. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, I get it. So uh, She happens to be right, though. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see me on The Sopranos. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, actually, I yeah, did. Okay, I was very good on The Sopranos. I watched every episode Kiss of The Sopranos. Kiss my ass. Where were you? What? Uh, I was on the third season, third episode. I get into a fight with Jackie Jr. in the pizzeria. Oh, my That's gosh. That's when Christopher goes, don't disrespect the pizza, Paula. <laughs> uh, that is too funny. All right, so Howard so, says the so only way so I'm letting Howard you do said, this. Uh, he goes, uh, it, on air, he said, all right, I, I'll, I'll let you do this. I'll, I'll plug this show. But you have to get paid three times more than any actor in the, <gasps> in the show. Wow. And I, and the, the, the producer said, sure. Of it course. Was like, it was like a national Free publicity right. every yeah. day. But the cast wasn't too happy oh, with that, yeah. considering the fact that I never acted a day in my life. Right, <laughs> so, right. like, they hated him. No, they, oh, hate, they, 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 so they Everybody wound up loving me eventually. We liked him as a person. They were gonna, they were yeah. gonna boycott the show. Wow. Like, they were gonna walk out. Wow, you were. Yeah, they were very, like, like a lot of the actors, especially the equity Did actors. You, you I would didn't be, care. But, but you would become kind of friendly with Steve at this Steve point. No, no, we just met. We just I met. Just no, but you, you kind of had had to have had a relationship at some point. Like uh, we point. became friends as we went on. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't even go to bat for him. Nobody went to bat for him well, and rallied the other actors. we didn't actors. care that he was in the show. We got mad that he got paid three times as much as anybody else in the show. But did you ever think for a second, see, everybody thinks so uh, personally, right? They think like, oh, I'm getting ripped off. Did they ever think like maybe the show will get more attention? We if, did. Well, it, it, right. it, it, it ended up working out for the best. It, that's the, what I'm the, saying. The first but, taste in their mouth. Right. Wasn't too was good. You know right. Sure, exactly. sure. And I'm sure they ridiculed you then, and it was like, oh, yeah, I no, can't get away and, from and this. And the, the, the tension in the dressing room was like, oh, you cut it with gosh. a knife. It wow. really wasn't fun. And then some, then one of the other <laughs> cast members who's a jackass, he goes, so you're going to take the whole cast out for dinner? I went, mind your fucking business. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that, that does happen. You know, no, mind your business. I, yeah. I understand. You know? And that's hard to deal with. But Howard, I, I mean, he does pay people. Jackie gets got well, paid. Well, Artie got really. paid. Well, well, you know, no? Listen, Robin? Not, Robin? Fred? Robin, probably get, Robin and Fred probably get the most. How about Gary? Gary? Gary's got to get paid. But you know what? They never talked about salaries there. You know what I'm saying? It was a big no-no. Well, you're Everybody. not supposed to talk about salaries, period. And quite honestly, yeah. like, the one thing I will say in defense of Howard, I do love, like, Howard, but this is, I'm a very unbiased person. Like, everybody feels that the boss 
always makes the most, and they m don't make enough, and nobody gets paid, and there no, are the, the, the boss in this case makes a lot. Way well, you I, know, like, yeah. like no, so you're, what you're saying so is like twenty million dollars compared to a hundred thousand dollars. Right, he could throw, is, is, yeah. he could make eighteen and and just yeah, through well, everybody. But the else. thing is, and I, which I understood, it, it was, it was the radio station, and the radio station wouldn't pay us, but like still. You're making more money than your kids, kids, kids can spend. You know, right. like, sure. what, what difference does exactly. it make? But I think in that case, once you give one person and then people know about that, everybody's the got their hands out. So, right. like, but it is weird for a corporation, per se, oh, like that, yeah. to not discuss Whoa, it. Whoa, hold no, on a second. Yeah. You you know, you've worked in this business but long enough that every that corporation... even brought it up oh, to come on. him. And what I was going to say was, like, yeah. there was five years where, I, like, I, you know, I stopped getting credit. Maybe my, my after the first six months I worked there. Right. They're happy to have a so, guy work for free. What are you yeah, talking about? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. This but, is production and, and and media and stuff. You know as well as anybody that they'll they'll just be like, oh yeah, well we don't have any right. money to pay yeah. you. Right, right, right. Yeah, Our right, budget's right. too there tight. There was a point where I think you know Tom Chiasano, who's yeah. the general manager, realized, holy shit, what's going on? Because he could have lost his job. Sure. Yeah. I could have sued the shit out. Right. Because what they were doing was completely it's illegal. illegal. It's illegal. Yeah. So it's illegal to do that. You have to be in college and be yeah, so, right. So, oh, right. 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 so you were like, no longer in college. Credit yeah. for he, everybody. He, he credit me. for life. Right. Here's your life point. He pulled me into the office and was like, How are you surviving? That's a better I'm, I'm a scrapper, dude. I, I've, been, I've been hustling since I was 11. He's years always old. had money. He yeah. always worked I, you know, hard. If it was, I was working, I was bartending in nightclubs. I was doing appearances. I was doing Grandma Sylvie's funeral. Whatever I had to do. What are you doing now? I, I own an LED lighting company. Do you oh really? Gosh, yeah. so we funny. need to talk with Yeah, later. absolutely. It's what called, do you think of our... It's called Bright Shot. Well, these panel lights are nice, but ours are big. They're like... What do you think of this We're like set? on every TV show, dude. It's amazing. How'd you get into that? Uh, you know, it's one of those things, because I, I was a stand-in on The Sopranos. I was an actor. Even on Grandma Sylvia's, I always... The heat from the lights always like, gave me a headache. Yeah. And I always say, so. Can you imagine? I, he, hold on a second. Can you imagine, like, through the Howard Stern show, he gets a gig on a like a, a big deal, like The Sopranos, and he's like, "I got such a headache from these lights. Could you just please, for a second, yeah, would the, you the, just the can you do something? Yeah, why yeah. you use those lights? Yeah, so totally. I, 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 my, I lost my job. My wife left me. I had nothing. Oh. I, was, I was in a really bad place. And a good friend of mine goes, well, my friend owns a production house. He's having a party. Why don't you come over? And I went over to the production house, and I met the owner and he goes hey man how you doing he goes you, you want to see my invention and i went yeah whatever he goes check it out man it's an led light it's got it goes any color any color temperature and check it out it's got built-in special effects old police car new police car fire <gasps> lightning i went oh that's awesome you, you, you know that's a game changer right yeah he's like what do you mean i was like you fucking have to hire me i will get you on tv and films he was like, I don't even know you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he was, I was like, no, you have to fucking And you became me. his partner. I, now I'm a partner in the company. Wow. Well, yeah. what do you think of our set, though? This, this is, is amazing. It's, 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 yeah. Thank I totally want to work with you guys. Yeah. Uh, we, cool. we would love to. That'd yeah, be great. I've never Absolutely. seen a set like this before. No, really? This is, really? This, this is, is the shit. This is a real deal. I like thank it. Thank you very much. Be terrific. Yes. I love your ink, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's Needles. My boy Needles at uh, East Side. I've Inc. heard of you Needles. You see my back, my whole back. You want to oh, show wow. us? Wait, hold on. Yes. Hold on. We got to get the. Oh. I'm going to talk to Stacy oh, while hold the crew on mics you and stuff. And okay. strips him down. Yeah. yeah. I can show you a little bit. Oh my God. Wow. I'll help. That's like. Do you see that? Is thing? that a deranged clown? I don't no, know. That's a demon. It's called. Yeah, it's a demon. It's a yeah. Japanese demon. It's called an oni. Well, we. Okay, these guys are going to help you while I talk to Stacy. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. I, it's okay. You, need, you don't need my shirt to come off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> we do, though. I mean, the Take audience off, didn't see. really get to see it's that. It's okay. The audience, uh, go to uh, monkeymojo.com. It's on there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Were you ever amazed at, at the amount of women that take their clothes off? At, like this. Oh, like this that. It's funny. One of my, fr my, my first day working there. Uh, Howard was giving away Guns N' Roses tickets. Yeah. And this girl said, I'll come on the air and I'll, I'll shave my vagina. <gasps> Howard goes, I'll, I'll shave your vagina if you come down. And she says, fine. And she, had, she was a beautiful girl. She had red hair. And, and it, beautiful. That's the other yeah, thing. Yeah, She's yeah, beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Yeah, she came down and I, I had to go buy razors and, and some shaving cream. Uh, and Howard shaved the vagina uh, on air. And oh he, I, I, got, I had to get this water basin so Howard could, like, you know, clean Howard the razor. Did. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, the, one of my first things, guys, I had to. Bring the pu the red pubic hair to the bathroom what? and flush it down the toilet. <laughs> you should have gotten paid for that. You should have gotten paid for that. You see? totally should have. Yeah, yeah. You should have gotten to go to Guns N' Roses. Yeah, I, just, I did. I was front row. Oh my god! Oh, I wish you got that. You have to yeah. shake your pubic hair. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> uh, okay, so Stacy, how'd you get into comedy? Oh my god! Uh, after Grandma Sylvia's funeral yeah. closed, I so in, I I was friends with Jackie Mason before that. He's like, you should do comedy. Friends. 
right. Yeah, that was whoa, creepy. whoa, whoa, wait. That was a creepy situation. What do you mean? Oh, well, yeah. I guess Jackie <laughs> wanted more than friends. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's like, I, I want you to be my, you know, he wants to I want you, you to come to hang out with me. I yeah. want you to open up. I actually saw him in the diner. Yeah. So, um, he. I met him once. He was not very nice to me. He's a nut. No, yeah. He seems like. He's Krusty the Clown's father. Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the hair. You got well, me. Wow. We did have a weird friendship. He would take me out to dinner every day yeah. or, or lunch. Maybe he just wanted company. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. Right. I can't even say that with a straight face. Nothing yeah. ever no, happened. I can tell. I know that. But it doesn't mean he Brad, didn't want something. Like I didn't have the handy every once yeah. Right, right. And you're like, hey. You stand up because he came to the show and I had that sort of sensibility. But when I, st I was in radio, I was okay. in. T I started in TV. All I wanted to do was in radio. I got in radio and then every I became friends with like Beecher from Beecher's Comedy Madhouse. I hung out with Artie. I hung out with all these cool comedians. I'd have them on the show all the time. And every one of them, you should do stand-up, you should do stand-up. That's really great. It sounds romantic. I love comedy. I love comedy. I'm not a stand-up comedian. I and don't know how. I just, one day, I bumped into, actually, a Howard Stern guy, Neil uh, Cole 40 Feinberg. Oh, do you remember yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> he was a friend of mine. He's like, we should open a room together. I mean, like, an open, like, a little comedy room. I'm like, okay, I never did stand-up in my life. So two weeks later, we found a room. It was called Absolutely Fourth. It was on in the village. And next thing I know, I was doing stand-up comedy. Wow. Where do you get your comedy from? A uh, life, I think. Like filthy my, uh, ideas. My ideas, my view of life. Just you do, do you have filthy ideas? Oh, I'm a horrible pervert. She's filthy. I'm a horrible I'm a horrible <laughs> pervert. At really? least in my head, yeah. yeah. Wow. It, 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 that doesn't come out in practice. Just in your head? Tell them about the, the uh, I'm a little princess story. Oh, I'll tell you. Want yeah, to yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So yeah, this is a true it. story. So yeah. I always had really bad self-esteem growing up. Like, I, I wanted to be Annie on Broadway. Okay. And I was this really little chubby kid. Like, okay. And my mom took me to audition. Okay. You're like 100 pounds soaking I know, wet. How did you? Well, no, I was fat as a kid. Okay, but, yeah. but I had eating. So I went to audition. You have the wrong color hair for Annie, but they right. could fix no, that. I'm not, Annie. I'm not the Annie type, but I wanted yeah. to be Annie. Yeah. yeah. So I went to audition, yeah. and this this Asian, I mean agent, did I say Asian? I'm yeah, sorry. you did, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> this agent said Peter's to me, not that offended, okay? Sorry, Asian. Uh. <laughs> I love Asians, just don't eat my cat. Anyway, um, <laughs> he said to me, You have a really good voice, but there are no fat Annies. And yeah. I thought about it. There are no fat Oh my God. Yeah. This is business. Don't cry. But there are no, don't cry for me, Argentina. Right. But yeah. there are no fat Annie. She was an orphan during the Depression. That would have not worked. I would have been an orphan fanny. Right. So I ended up having eating disorder. I had bulimia. You know, that's when you, you know, yes. binge eat. And then, the, then you throw up your inner child or your <laughs> uncle's sperm. And, oh. Um, oh. Uh, no, I would never even put it in my mouth. I'm a Jew. Anyway. Uh, oh, my God. So. Uh, <laughs> she really is. So she really is a Jew. Perverted. All right, wait, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> she really is a Jew, she said. Perverted, I bet. Oh, oh, okay, Jew. hold on a second. That's you, funny. I can tell you have a great act. Would you do a few minutes of your act? I just act? did it. But I, just know, I want it. you to do a couple I just minutes. Did this it is for it. You. But that's not the whole act. Yeah, you got to do it She's doing it right now. I know, but I want Greg to set up the camera right and do all the things. Okay, I'm going to do it right. All right, but it's actually better this way, but this fine. Is it better this way, really? I think it's fine because she's conversational. All right, you know what? I'm going to throw caution in the wind and I'll say go. Just trust yeah. me on this. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, so I, so I went to the audition, or whatever, and I was getting, so I used to actually go to the gym wasted. You ever do that? No. I actually <laughs> run to the treadmill drunk in heels. <laughs> I think I was the only person to fall off the wagon in the treadmill at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, my, I was really fucked up when I had bad health team. I listened to those motivational speaking tapes. You know those tapes that make you feel good about yourself? Yeah. Like, you are loved. People love you. You have big areolas. That's you are loved. <laughs> <laughs> you are not a whore. Oh. You're a people person, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So anyway, so I, one day, this is a true story. This is Steve. This is based on Steve, so I'm going to tell you the story. Okay. Steve Can't wait. introduced me to this movie producer. Remember that? We went out one night. Actually, our friend ended up fucking him, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> and, you know, you, back in the day, you would just, you know, he came, he was in town. Steve's like, come out with me. I'm like, okay. He was really cute. He was, I know he was like, like, he was probably around my age. And he was like a friend of a friend of a friend or a rapist. Anyway, so um, we went back to his hotel room. And in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to do him. You know, I'm not going to have sex with him. Yeah. I'm just going to go to three and a half base. Okay. okay. <laughs> three and a half base. So you're yeah. going to you're gonna round yeah. third. She's going to get caught stealing home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, no insertion, but we'll see what happens. So anyway. <laughs> That's so never Steve. a good plan, Steve. Oh so my God. supposedly this guy like had sex with all these like models and movie stars. And he was a producer of Godzilla. Not the one from the 40s, the one from the 90s. <laughs> right. But, so we go back to his hotel room. And we get naked. <laughs> and Steve knows the story. He starts licking my asshole. Okay. Do you realize how beautiful I felt? This movie producer <laughs> was licking my asshole. Yeah. I felt like the prettiest princess. <laughs> pretty princess. I'm like, I'm a pretty princess. I looked in the mirror. I didn't need those motivational speaking tapes. I'm like, I'm a beautiful, pretty, pretty princess. 
And they said, I want to. I went exactly. I went to the Burger King and I got a hat, a crown. Oh my god! Because I had it my way. <laughs> you're very good. You're very you're funny. funny. You oh, know, you're just uh, saying you, that no, to be it's terrific. It's Thank you. It's, it's terrific. the truth. I, I actually like very dirty humor. You're well, very I can get funny. dirtier. Anyway, sorry. Oh, yeah, I, but I love it. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for doing a few. I know it's like a little awkward. Andrea and I. No, I like it better. It's you, yeah. If I was, if we had a huge audience. Yeah. No problem, but since I have more right. people, it's just us. I yeah, feel like yeah. I'm on like some bad. Not, that's so funny. America's Got Talent or right, something. Right, like, and the terrific. Okay. This would be the audition, by the way. This wouldn't yeah. be actually America's but Got Talent. But I like talent. to. So that like I like to. It's like a panel. Yes. So I'm doing. Pa I'm doing my stand up, but you don't realize I'm doing my right. stand up. Right. I like. I like it. It's very. You're very funny. I like Thank that. you. Do you. Are these so? Are these really real life experiences that you draw? Oh my from? God! Like my. La like, yeah, I just got divorced. Actually. You did? Yeah. Wow. My husband was. Uh, he was a disaster. He actually bought coupons in the honeymoon to Denny's. Like he actually wore coupons on our honeymoon. I mean, can you imagine that? He was a, he was a cheap fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he was a weird ethnic mix. He was half Norwegian and half Iranian. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Which makes him impotent. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying he's small, but when I gave him a handy, yeah. I sort of felt like I was thumb wrestling him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, my God. Now, oh. You, yeah. She kind of reminds me, because the way she's mixing this with her personal life, and they're very funny jokes, of my favorite guest ever on the Howard Stern Show is Robert Schimmel. <gasps> Robert oh my Schimmel? God, I yeah, the yeah, late Robert Schimmel. Away, yeah, I take did. that as yeah. a huge it, compliment. You remind me of him a lot. Thank you. That really? is, I am that so be. honored. Because yeah. so it's always, always like, you remind me of another girl comic, but to be reminded of a really great guy comic, and nothing against I love a lot of the females, no, it's totally. even like a better thank compliment, so thank you. Thank you. Namaste. No, it, it's it's. Uh, I'll fuck your dick now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not on air, please. No, no, I don't. <laughs> that's gonna cost you more money. But, yeah. uh, but no, seriously, uh, you know, you do. You remind me of Robert, and and one of the things Robert would say at the end of his act, and I thought it was one of the greatest things, and so I, I just you made you made me think of him, and that is that uh, time is the most precious gift we could ever give anybody, and and so you know, thank you guys for giving us your time. Yeah. It's the most precious thank resource. You. Oh, uh, it's been fun having you guys on. So what thank you, you for having us. What yeah. are you guys doing here at Comic Con? And what are you uh, up to? My friend uh, runs uh, Artist Alley, so I'm here. But I'm I'm a geek. I'm a big Star Wars geek. Love He's it. a um, big geek. I'm a big, yeah, huge geek. Like Mark Hamill was at my wedding. Oh that. my god! Wow! <laughs> How did you make that happen? Uh, I, you know, he was he's a Stern fan. He came on the show. They're and, really good friends. Um, yeah. Uh, I, it was like one of the most surreal moments of my life. I'll never forget it. How did you leave the show? I don't know. It's like you love the show. They eventually they paid you eventually. It was right? once they started paying me. Yeah. It was he really left. He, yeah. like, no he was like, credit. no more credit. No, no, no. <laughs> like, once they, no they were He's like, I'm six, too good for this paying they were, they, thing. They, they, were, it was, they were paying me like six dollars an hour. Yeah. Oh what? Six dollars an hour? Like, what that's were you waiting? Yeah. Yeah. More than that. I, I was gonna I was say, were you waiting tables? Hour. Is Donald getting, Trump gonna send you over the border now? Yeah. Uh, Holy shit! Six dollars an hour. Six an hour. I was working like at least sixty <laughs> hours a week. And I was getting paid for thirty. I think they, they paid me forty. That means they had to give me health insurance. Wait, so hold so, on. Six dollars oh times sixty hours a week. That's but what. No, I only like got paid three hundred sixty dollars. I only got paid for thirty. And you only got paid for thirty. So yeah. that's like two hundred and forty dollars yeah. a yeah. week. That's so, super um, I, I did that for a year. And once they started paying me, now they had the corporate leash around my neck. I had sure. to do this. Right, I had to do right. that. It was really it became like. He was miserable. So I remember him being really upset. How did those guys uh, but, operate but, with that corporate then, leash? And you know, after the year getting paid six dollars an hour, I went to Tom Chiasano and I was like, look. Uh, I'm I worth a, at least I, seven. I, I, would, yeah, well, I said, can I get a raise? He goes, yeah, I'll give you the company standard raise. It's like 25%, which to me, and six dollars is a quarter to me. Yeah, right. yeah. I said, well, okay, can I get paid for like at least, I said, I'm working 60 hours a week. Can I get paid for 40 so I can get health insurance? He said, absolutely not. And then uh, I, I, I was getting angry because they had me doing all this like menial work. Like I had to stay late and photocopy articles really? on Howard. Like, I, like on you know, Howard. You no, know, like anytime Howard. I need name to know was about myself. Anytime Howard's name yeah. was mentioned in an article, whether it was all wow. about him or if it was just a mention, we had he had the service that would send the articles. Yeah, they so paid for that box service. Wow, sure. it's a lot of money. It's like three thousand a month. I, I had to. They got paid more to find the article yeah, than you were getting yeah, paid. Yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. I had to, me getting. I had to photocopy. Unbelievable. Them. Wow. So I had to photo every day after the show. How many I, copies did you have to make? I was going to say uh, five ask them copies. For a copy. One for Howard. One for Gary. One for um, t uh, Tom Chiasano, one for Don Buckwald, and one had to be special archive paper that didn't yellow. Stop. Uh, for the Howard archive. Yeah, for the Har Howard wow. archive. So I, like, so I had to sit there every day. So I was like, if they're not, I, I went to Tom. He goes, six twenty-five. That's all I can do. Sorry. From now on, you have to leave after thirty hours. So I went. I went to Howard and I said, Yeah, Tom won't give me a raise. And he goes, Well, that's Tom. <laughs> and, I, and I went. 
Yo, motherfucker, you ain't gonna like in my head. I went, yeah. You ain't gonna stick up for me. That was the exact moment I said, I, I have to leave. I'm done. Because if I don't leave, uh, they're gonna have to fire me because I'm gonna be such a miserable Something bastard. That, yeah. yeah. And I don't want. I didn't want to burn the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? So I, I better bow out gracefully. Because I, I, I had confidence in myself that I'd be able to do something else. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I, I didn't want to use that as a crutch for my whole life. Oh, totally. You know what kills me is that AJ Benza didn't work out on the show. He didn't work I, out I, in the AJ's Jackie a chair. good guy. You yeah. know? I, actually, I was doing a podcast with Casey Armstrong, and AJ called in a couple of times to promote his book, uh, well, 70 and Sunny. It's actually an interesting <laughs> story. I guess uh, when he was young, uh, his cousin, you know, you know, some kids are just gay at birth. Sure. <laughs> yeah, his cousin was obviously showing signs that he was gay so his uncle didn't know what to do so he sent, shipped him to AJ's house for the summer so no AJ's way. father could straighten him out oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that 74 worked 74 and Sunny that's the name of the yeah. book that's, that's and that, that is summer 74 that his cousin came he wrote that, that is book. funny so, so be honest you hooked Stacy up with that producer hoping she'd sleep with him and he'd give you a role is that probably something like that yeah. sure yeah, he would always do that to me We'd she, she, she was like she was like my you know I'll throw you a nut help me out oh did you and did you did you have this conversation you say like Stacy no he would like I would hang out with them and I meet a guy that was his friend or he meet one of my friends so yeah yeah, yeah. it worked okay. out for you then too yeah, yeah we, we totally we, like we slut around we she's got like, good yeah, looking friends the 90s was crazy yeah. to tell me yeah, 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 yeah i could yeah, imagine fuck fest that's <laughs> hilarious well i only went to three and a half base so. <laughs> yeah. for three and a half base yes <laughs> but it was crazy because like steve and I, I i remember steve when he left the show and be like why did he leave and i saw him how miserable he was yeah. And how happy he was when he left. Not be yeah, I didn't care. I, it like, was good for him because he I'm, grew a lot. It's so That's weird awesome. because the girl I was dating uh, that I was supposed to move to L.A. with, she's here today. Yeah. Oh my Her gosh. husband wrote The Expanse. <laughs> she, he wrote <laughs> Iron Man and... Uh, Cowboys and wow. aliens. Yeah, so she, they, they were down here doing the panel. Wow, for that's the a expense. downgrade from you, Steve. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> wow, she really missed the, yeah. the gravy yeah. train, <laughs> the boat, the, the whole train. deal. <laughs> oh my oh, God. I, yeah, I so, love her. Uh, she, was my yeah. under, actually, she was my understudy in the show. Yeah, oh, she was wow. our understudy. So we were yeah. all really good friends. Yeah. I loved yeah. her. She was so, really yeah. great. I got to tell you something. Uh, I just I want to say I love Howard. He's part of the reason why we're here today. Because, of course, because absolutely. We're all here because of that. Right, but I do this in large part because Howard led the way. He. He actually, you know, he paved the road so that people like me could do what we want, right? Exactly. And, yeah. and so Absolutely. I choose to do positive. Oh no! This and, is, and so it was. He's it the was best. such an amazing experience to be there during that time. Both books, the movie, like the book tours. Were you at the, the movie, movie premiere? Movie. Oh yeah, I, I was the at the movie. movie premiere. I worked on the movie. That was my first movie. Oh my gosh! Oh, well, the people that I helped me get yeah. my, my 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 bright shot light out sure. there. Are, are the people that I work with on private parts? Wow. Like my, most of those guys wow. are still around. I went the to the premiere of the movie, and uh, I shouldn't say this on air, but I will. Uh, I, I I I got to hang out with Jenna Jameson for three oh, minutes, sure. and she said, three "I minutes. said you're the most beautiful woman." And she said, "I should not say this on say air." It. She said, um, "Would you like Would you like to cop a feel?" And I said, "Yes." And she said, "How about the backside too?" I, I was like. I was like, <laughs> by the way, I was 17 years old. Yeah. I, my license was still wet. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And so was she. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, like someone, someone take yeah. that. Yes. That's so uh, funny. Wow. Yeah. 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 Jenna, Jenna was uh, cool. You remember she, she was wearing a sheer dress that oh, night, completely I, dude, sheer. I just, I, I had met her so many times at that point. <laughs> I never, I didn't watch any of her pornos at the time because yeah. I just, yeah, I, right. I thought she was. <laughs> I, I, I swear Why to God, can't you believe just me, I had, that, a, though? I had a, 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 a catalog of porno because porno tapes came every week. Yeah. I used to take That's them and so sell funny. them to the deli around the corner. <laughs> I had so many. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, to, I would take garbage bags home and give them to the Habib around the corner. Oh I don't, I don't, I don't, I want to take five hundred dollars. Okay, oh yeah, there you go. I need to sell them for 15. You know? oh, adult man. adult uh, movie king of Chicago yes, right seriously. here. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the Bueller. Sa sausage King. Of yes, I know, I know, I know. Come on, you don't uh, have to. You're gonna explain it to the audience, especially here. Um, no, I didn't so watch uh, it because you knew her. I, I just, I thought she was cute. I, I didn't think Jenna was like. He didn't wait. He didn't watch the movies. He just opened the magazines and yeah, no, read. He I, I read a, them for the audience. I was a fan of. I thought Janine Lindemuller was the hottest. She thing was in the world. a beautiful. I thought I don't she know was her. so much better than. She Jenna married James Jesse James. Yeah. Uh, oh wow. Yeah, she and she was in the Motley Crue like, video. Oh. I was like, she could have been a. I think you could be a model. That's Why Howard used to up? always say that. You know, like, yeah, but she's not looking too good now. In the beginning, she was Jenna James. Better than Janine. I don't no, think. Jenna's I think. Okay. I, don't, I don't see a lot of porn stars aging well. They oh look, my god! For some reason, they turn a certain Something age. Something happens. Something you, you, happens. You, you, you know what's yeah, funny? You Madonna has the, the same face. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I swear. I interviewed Madonna about two years ago. Uh -huh. Really? And and I, I didn't have a bright light, but it was a bright light. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. 
And so, man, yeah. that thing, it shined right through her makeup, and oh, Madonna? she looked road worn. Uh -huh. Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. like, like, like a virgin Madonna? Yeah, like yeah, the road hit her smack like right in the face. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, yeah. She's still got great tits, though. I mean, she. <laughs> you would never see, because in pictures, she looks great. Well, of course, yeah. 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 I was well, totally she's using her. bright lights to make her look better. Bright, what, bright what's shot. the website? Brightshot. Uh, www.brightshot. But it's spelled. B R I T E S H O T. Got so, it. But if you're doing a film or a movie, man. Yeah. It's, it's Are you going to be at Photo Plus next week? What's Two that? Weeks? Well, we'll talk off. Okay, yeah. We're going to be yeah. at Photo it Plus. We're the okay, official. Well, maybe I That's will awesome. be now. And you need to be at NAB. Are you at NAB? Well, we, we, we used to go to NAB, and, uh, you know, you, you drop 50, 60 grand for the yeah. weekend, and, you know, we really didn't see that much business out of it. The most business, and I, I, I'm going to toot my own horn right now, but the yeah. most business that we had seen was. Through me and my connection, yeah. right. me hustling and getting people. Down All right, we're going to introduce you to the NAB crowd. We're going to introduce sure. you to Infocom's crowd, and we are the official of Photo Plus. So you're going to you're going to meet those people. Absolutely, too. Yeah. thank you very much, Mike. Yeah. I appreciate that. We'll we'll talk uh, more so about it. I'm so psyched that you guys stopped by the so, yeah. Thank I you too. for having us. Thank this you for coming so on. Fun. Thank you for your time. And we went a little blue, but we had a lot of fun. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. with it. It's Love all it. positive. We're all adults here, right? Yeah. We do the Pressman Hour, Safety Pressman Hour. I have a podcast. Okay. that. Yeah. And where can people see your stand up? On the streets of New York. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, or He's whoring around somewhere. Um, uh, just go to my website, StacyComic.com. Okay. Uh, and you can... Why did you... You never did Last Comic Standing? I don't believe in competition shows. I've, I've said this a lot. Right. Uh. When it comes... I mean, I know that one person could be funny than another, but right. I don't think... Like, if Steve and I were both comedians, like, if we're both funny, like, how do we compete against each other? Just because we're... I just never I'm very that. competitive. I, I want. I, I, I like, just want to do well. We had friends. we had four million viewers earlier in the day today. Uh, we crashed live stream our service provider. Sorry, live stream. <laughs> um, they're amazing. We love them. And we had to switch to uh, YouTube for a little while and then come back. Wow. We, we got it back up. We, our site's been down several times. I mean, that's amazing. I'm so proud of of, of us and our Woo! team. All I wanted to do. So Twitch is live streaming here. They're the official. They so we're live now. We're live now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't oh, know yeah. that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. They have 1,500 uh, uh, viewers uh, today, all day. I found out. I have, I have people on the inside. <laughs> we, so okay, all I wanted to do was beat them. Yeah. <laughs> but And now I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to put the foot to the floor. Yeah. Get them. Day and one, so guys. I am day very com competitive. Yeah. So, yeah, they have a lot cool. of catching up to do. We're going to we're gonna do it tomorrow, though, too. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You go. Awesome. Yes, we'll be here all four days. And yeah. so we're doing it live from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., although we go long, apparently. Yeah. And and then we loop it. So we're 24 hours. So if the audience missed something, they can watch it um, like when later yeah. until we're on the next day. Cool. That's yeah. great. So um, thank you guys so much thank for coming for out. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Stacey Pleasure. Comic and I don't I, even I, remember I, I, that. I, I, like I, bright. bright. Steven Grillo on Facebook. Yeah. Twitter, um, Steve Gorilla, and uh, Instagram, um, Gorilla Vader. And awesome. And Stacey Pressman on Twitter. And Stacey Pressman on Twitter. Pressman, P R U S S M A N. All right. Yes, exactly. Yes. She I'll, I'll buy just a battle. Just find me on the streets of, uh, <laughs> of, of New York City. Of Hoboken or New York. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's All right. True. We're going to take a break and we're going to do the wrap up show okay. for today. That's going to be awesome. Thank and, you for uh, having us. Thank you for coming. Thanks, oh, guys. we have something for Good you guys. You guys are terrific. Oh, look. Thank you. You, you the, are terrific. The, the, the silver. Well, we've got something for for you. Grillo, I've got something special for you. Special? Is it drugs or a hooker? <laughs> then it's not special. You made it. You yeah. are now Howard Stern. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> I, will, I, had, I had one moment in my career, and, and, and I decided that that wasn't for me after this because I, I can't take the stress. I don't know how he did it, how he went through the station managers and all that stuff. I will share it right now because you guys, okay. I, I've shared it once in my life on air other than this. I had a station manager named Joey Alcaris, a very nice woman. She loved me. I, I went from having one show to having six. We were doing remotes, remote broadcasts everywhere, and I started the night and, and, and ended the night, and then I hung out in between. Well, one night it's snowing. It's my birthday. And my mother comes out for the show on Long Island. We're at this little bar, and she says to me, the show before the final show is this dating show with this woman, Jill and Steve. I don't know. I make up the name, but Jill. And can you uh, please... Um, do me a favor, and, and can you do the dating show with this woman, Jill? I've never been on because Steve can't make it, whatever. So I go, sure. And um, basically what happens, it's unbelievable, is some, I don't know, somehow the topic for the night was piercings, and piercings were new back then. And uh, th so they start talking about it, like, what do you think, what do you think? And we're having this conversation. The audience was able to ask questions, and this girl says, I just got my nipples pierced today. What do you think? <gasps> and I said, what? And she goes, could I? Uh, Ain't so nobody I said, well, what do you that. think? She goes, well, I just... So I said, would you show everybody? She goes, yeah. So I got everybody in a semicircle. I, I, I took a page out of Howard's book. I yeah, like, yeah. not. We're not going to do it right this second. Yeah, I got yeah. the whole place in a semicircle. 
And I'm like, okay, but it's got to be a good, like, you got a good showing, like, 30 seconds. I don't want, like, a two-second flash, and I'm going to comment on it and all that. So I get, I realize as she's about to do it that my mother's sitting right in the front oh. row. Oh, my gosh. It's my birthday, and I sit next to my mother, and I go, uh, let's have it. Yeah. And she does uh. it, and I go, Mom, what do you think of those? <laughs> Oh. oh my God! Yeah. The station manager's outside having a cigarette. She comes flying in. We gotta go to commercial. Flips out. Would you believe the next week? I, I apologize. I beg for forgiveness. It'll never happen again. I'm sorry. The next week we're loading in for this show. There's a line around the block. What's going on? The people are like, "Where are the naked girls? Where are the oh, naked girls?" Yeah, oh yeah it was crazy. Yeah. This little show out on Long Island. WGBB. Yeah, WGBB. My, my, my first radio show I did in a bunch of college and. Um, I caused a riot. Literally, like, they had to bolt the door. And it's because nobody was really listening to me. Yeah. I, and we only broadcast in the cafeteria. <laughs> so I was, So you I, took your shirt off and showed it. Was, it, it, like, was, it, was, it was... First person wrong, here was, gets to see my tattoo. No, no, it was worse. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a time when Giuliani was going against Dinkins. Yeah. And I was on the train, and I grew up in this really racist Italian neighborhood. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's stop this story now. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So we don't I, talk. I, I, this guy came up oh. with this slogan. He said, vote for Julie, not the Mooley. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no. And, and I went, no, on, I no, went on the no. radio and to oh. explain what, what a bunch of idiots I live with. Oh, no, But all no. they heard was the slogan. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. That's and they, so racist. I was, I was going awful. on there to say these idiots in my neighborhood are saying story, yeah. yeah. And I was condemning them. But somehow but you didn't articulate that, that well because Don't, you're Grillo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Maybe I'm being nice On that note, take this. It's an Electro Kid. Oh, It's awesome. You're going to have that. And it's from wowiego.com. Oh, wow. And Stacy, we've got Thank one for you. you. This awesome. is so cute. It's yeah, you're going to have a voice. lot of fun. Oh, you, you can get them at Toys R Us and everything. It's nodding like and saying yes. Yeah, I'm really right. annoying. All right, Grillo. <laughs> thank you. Stacy, thank you. Andrea, we're going to be back quickly to do a wrap-up okay. show. We'll be back right after this. You're the Terrifics. You're amazing. You make me terrific special. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>